Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with some good old Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke. We are going into the Whitney Gym. We're gonna go fight Whitney. We're gonna go avenge all our friends, and we're gonna have a fun old time. Of course, these are our Pokemon daily. They're basically daily uploads of Pokemon Silver, so if you want to make me feel good, please remember to leave a like if you end up liking the video. If you don't, well, wait till next episode, because these are usually pretty short. So, let's get into it. I wonder how many people are like waiting for this Nuzlocke to end before they see everything, and how many are actually watching concurrently. I know Raider's fan at the very least is seeing it concurrently, and there's of course a bunch of, um, a bunch of other people as well that I totally remember the names of because I see them all the time. Um, but I believe I, I just don't like mispronouncing people's names. I'm pretty sure Gay Nerd, who's the number one. Which sounds like someone fake is watching my videos when I say it out loud. But they're real. And they're a lovely person and they love Kid Fisto. I don't blame them. I like cute Pokemon better than strong Pokemon. But I have strong and cute Pokemon. Feels like that was a... Trying to back out of whatever she was saying. Alright, let's do it. Last Bridget, what do you got, Lass? Don't have Snubbles. Jigglypuff, okay. Alright, this is the last time Jolene's going to be in the front lines, because after this, I'm not going to put her in the front lines against, um, against Whitney, because she's going to just decimate, um, Kit Fisto in a way that I would not appreciate. But, in theory, Kit Fisto has this entire gym on lock. Of course, if he gets attracted to death, that's going to be an issue. Pound. But for the most part, these are all normal types. They don't. The only Pokemon that for some reason has a way to beat um, Kit Fisto is Snubble, and that's because it knows Bite. For some godforsaken reason, one twenty one. Well, it's because it has big, a big old mouth, but it's not gonna really be a problem. I can't believe Magnitude has thirty. Magnitude is such a stupid strong move. It's basically Baby Earthquake, but you can use it way more. Kid Fisto ain't gonna fall for your charms. Jigglypuff, get out my face. Alright, so the biggest weakness Kid Fisto has is that he is male. Oh man, what? Another one? I am going to avoid using a DJ Khaled joke. Magnitude 9, pop pop, that's what I should say. A timely community reference as it's getting ready to go on um, uh, Netflix. That's what the people- oh really Kid Fisto? No, no, no. Okay, so I'm gonna need to train you up anyway. I am gonna put you out in the fields uh, to get you that one level up, my boy. Let's get going. Oh, man. I'm surprised we made it. To be honest, I thought um, we would have not passed, made it past Croconaw. I actually had a pretty good feeling that we were gonna lose at Croconaw um, with Legends, just because, like, we had nothing to deal with it. But now that we're here this far, I feel like at this point we're gonna have to win. Also, after our win, we will take Jake out of the out of the nursery, and we will put in instead someone else. Go, Jolene. Jolene. All right, taking you out because of course Ratatata is a force to be reckoned with, as we've proven with Mouse. All right, all right, not very effective. Rock throw. Oh, come on. Is Kid Fisto? No, this Kid Fisto does not evolve at level 20, right? It's like 22 or something for a Graveler. Where we're about to find out. So let's find out together, huh? Whoop. Cool. Kid Fisto is level 20 and is now the strongest Pokemon we have. Nope, no evolution. Okay, let's move on. We're gonna cut. We're gonna very quickly put Kid Fisto in the front, and then, I don't know from here, man. I need to give you something. No, not really anything. We're gonna have to hope to God that the milk tank doesn't know a move that's just gonna instantly kill Kid Fisto, besides the power of love. Doom, 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 doom. The worst thing about a track is that it does actually stick around, so even if I swap out, it's not going to do us any good, which is dumb. The track is a dumb move, 
I can't believe that the Pokemon Company approved of a tract. It's maybe one of the most unfun things about specifically the second game is this gym right here. All right, let's get going. Chase definitely watches every episode. I know for a fact Chase watches every episode. Sorry to double back on what was the start of the episode here, but it just felt like it felt it needed to be repeated. Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone was in, so into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. Here's a fun thing. When I was looking up Whitney to look up for her name, um, the thing that comes right after Whitney is her age, so you know <laughs> that people are kind of sick out there. I mean, whatever. At a certain point. Oh, you're gonna stop. You know what I should do? What? Oh, with a crit that did two damage. Double crit back to back. Is it gonna crit three in a row? Yeah, it is. That actually hurt. So if it doesn't pop, that's not a, that's not worthy of a pop pop. Unless it kills, then I'll do a pop pop. Okay. Let's do defense curl. Oh no. It now it knows. Oh shit. What the fuck? Oh, we should have took Jake out of the goddamn... Oh my god. It's happening again. Alright. I can't lose Kid Fisto. Oh, what was I looking up? I was looking up its typing. Is ground effective against ground? Ah, uh, damn it, where's my phone? I'm just gonna look up. Is ground effective against ground? Because he if he's taking time to war damage, we have to leave. Um, Pokemon. Ground. Ground weakness. All right. Let's see, ground is electric, fire, poison, rock, steel. So now it bears the mention. No, well, I think we should be fine. Oh my god, though. The chances of this Clefairy one-shotting us, though. All right. No, come on. All right, five. We'll see after this. There's no way Kit Fisa doesn't die from this. Okay. I worried for nothing. Yeah, that's right. Pop, pop. Right back in your face. What's good? Fuck you, Clefairy. Oh, boy. That was dangerous. Thank God I used Defense Curl. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Stomp. Please don't do a lot of damage. It didn't. Okay. Figures. Is it just going to do this? I feel like this is the number one actual weak weakness of Kit Fisto is, um, getting flinched. Jesus, really? Alright, so I'm going to use a potion. I cannot lose Kit Fisto to this. Out of all the dumb ways to lose Kit Fisto, this is the dumbest. Oh, that was a crit? And it's stuck to that move? Alright. Let's do it. Oh no, it's not stuck to it anymore because it missed. All right. All right, Kid Fisto, I need you to pop it off. Come on. I need a better pop-pop. Give me a pop-pop. Come on, Kid Fisto, pop-pop. I'll give me give that. I'm going to give that a pop-pop. I'm going to give that a pop-pop by the five. Okay, come on. Fisto. 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 That's a pop-pop. That's a dead. That's a dead milk tank. <laughs> Didn't even use freaking attract. The Clefairy was more scary. <coughs> I'm dying. Uh, no. That's the dark side of the force trying to tell you that, Kit Fisto. No. Yes. Cool. Leader Whitney was defeated. Oh, why? You're mean. Now I'm not gonna vote for Bernie because of that. Okay, now it's gonna... Oh. It's 
Nibble Hick, you meanie. That's why, I, uh, unfortunately I cannot get any of the women in this game. She always cries when she loses. Alright, I'll be back. I didn't mean to make her cry. Even though I did yell pop pop the entire time we were fighting. And then I said, Fisto, get your fist ready. Put your fist up in that milk tank. She probably didn't appreciate that. But she should have used the tract. I can't believe she didn't use a tract. They usually always use a tract as their first move. It's crazy. Maybe it's because it was a rock type. They were like, there's no point. I don't know. That's weird. You're usually you are harder as a child, Whitney. Sniff. What? Do you want a patch? <laughs> All right. I forgot. Here's a plain badge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Three badges down, baby. Thank you. So here's the thing I forgot. Um, uh, Jotaro, who died, is the one who knew Cut. <laughs> so. I have to teach you to do a new Pokemon. I thought it stopped you from releasing Pokemon if they had HMs. Apparently not so. <laughs> Apparently that was only the first game. Oh, man. That's hilarious to think. So I'm going to have to start thinking about who should get cut and who shouldn't get cut. Let me go down here. Doom, 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 doom. So we're gonna get we're gonna put Snake in there. We're gonna put Snake in the in the daycare, <clears throat> and then we will put um yes, raise a Pokemon. Raise my Snake. He's male. Come back for it later. I will. Oh, lady, give me back Jake. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Even though I feel like if I said no, you would just keep my Pokemon forever. Alright, Jake. Yeah, Jake is now strong. I mean, still not, you know, respectable. So now, next episode we are going to train Jake and Jolene. Kid Fisto is going to take a little bit of a backseat for now. Because until the next gym, that is, where Kid Fisto will be used. Um... To beat that gem so we're gonna fight the cops i think you can only fight them at night so until next time everyone again if you like this please leave a like i like doing these daily and it helps me be motivated to make more when i see people enjoying them so see you guys in the next one goodbye